been their show starting tonight called the Caster's Curse, where they're going to be talking okay. everything about Gears of War at the end of Fight Night, by the way. So, That's gonna be the, cool. so and I'm pretty sure they're going to be talking about the yeah. Yeah. Game yeah. So make sure you show some love to your community members and support each other or not kind or not, well, as we make content. You know, you got to support your community, folks, okay? Definitely I, I can't stress that enough. So you can support everybody else. If you love Gears, you can support the people who, who make content in Gears as well. Uh, so, But to kick this one off, it's going to be on left. And we're gonna be on board with Team PR. And no power weapons on the map, things are slowed down, but it's mental. Uh, get us impression on rushing. One of, the, one of the dope things about the All-Star match being is seeing different player combinations that you've never seen before yeah. and seeing teammates play against each other. And even seeing uh, you know some old teammates playing That's true. back uh, together once again and seeing how... So, know, in this one, it was, uh, as far as old teammates, it was good to see Rushies and Speedy reunited together, but it was also interesting to see, uh, you know, Fran and Mental play side by side next to each other as well. Because, you know, they've been trying to slit each other's throats since season two. <laughs> since Gears 4 started. I was going to say, season two, not since game one. <laughs> since the release, they have been at each other. As it stands, though, it's Team Ryan with the advantage two hills to one. Right. But I, I, I am rooting. I ain't going to lie. I'm rooting for Team Ryan because I want Choche to win an all-star game. You're not biased at all. <laughs> great to see it. I want great Choche to win an all-star game. Sure. Come on, Choche. But then we call him Hot Spot. Because <laughs> that's what he playing off of. It's a, it's a great start so far. The problem, a couple players from Team Ryan already down. Close to the drop. The pitch comes through. Is it going to be enough to maybe see some pressure onto the home hill? Well, for now, the answer to that is no. Chaos comes through, cleans up mental and identity. Still Team Ryan with the lead though, 121 to 72. But they're not careful. They're going to lose all control of the map. No hills currently under the possession. Yeah, Chaos bringing the pressure. Uh, you know, he's definitely warmed up coming off that elevated match. Him and Identives. Oh, that's a good point. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, they, they, they had some, they, you know, they've been on Fight Night twice tonight. This may be the first time we've actually had players in two different series <laughs> on the same Fight Night. Actually, it is the first time this has ever happened. Uh, and then we did it for the last one. So the only two players to have played in two series on Fight Night. That's strange. Very, very, very strange. Mm -hmm. But hey, first time for everything. And so far. And actually, you know what? They may be the players who have played the most. Well, no, I was going to say he played the most, but that's definitely Optic and, yeah. and uh, the, some of the boys on reciprocity as far as consistency goes with being on fight night. Has to be. No, no doubt. No doubt. The round one. Looks like it could be coming to an end relatively soon. Pratt with the double. Team Ryan, two hills, looking to put the pressure on. Go for trip cap domination. is explosive versus mental. That's a fight that we don't often get to say is ever at all. But it's Pratt with another formation. double. That's the trip cap. That's round one. Going to Team Ryan. And would you say they were the underdogs coming in? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, you know, okay. Team PR, uh, they look dominant throughout the entire All-Star series. And, you know, you got to think about it like this. No matter who the four players of that team is, you got Explosive there to be the, the IGL, the team leader. And no matter – everyone who plays against Optic uh, would love to have Explosive on a team as IGL. Now, granted, you do have some players out there who say, hey, you know what? I don't never want to play with them because I only want to beat them. You know, I respect those players. You know, they, I respect them a lot because uh, yeah. we need more I, of them. I, I have a special name for people like that. Oh, what you got for them? Idiots. <laughs> if you get a chance to play with Explosive, you play with Explosive, okay? That's, uh, free, okay. that's free cash money right there. That's that's me filling my trophy cap. I will sit in that backpack all day, all season. Oh, my God. If you get a chance to play with a goat, you play with a goat. It's as simple as that. I will, I will need a few cracks before I pull a praise in Solus, okay? I will need a few cracks at them first. Sure. Before hard to decide to jump shit. And then you realize All right? how hard But it then is. you realize it is, and you just go say, hey, I'm going to go win this money. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat them. Ladies Join us. It's simple. It, it, you, do, so simple. you do reach that point. Yeah. I'm not gonna Absolutely. Lie. I am, on the, on the other end, I've been one of the stubborn players to say, hey, I just need to beat these guys. You know? Nope. I don't like the easy way, man. I like it first. I, I like the way that's going to make me the most money. <laughs> I think playing with explosive, you that's going to make me the no, most money. You ain't got no heart. No. Damn right. I got brains, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got brains, let me tell you. Oh, Team Ryan absolutely just ran through Team PR in that round. The quick five down in a 48-second round. All it took. A big 2-0 lead starting to develop now. A quick glance at the, the stats. Speedy and explosive. They need to get some kills on Ooh. that board. Donut chumps. 
put the torque boat down at maintenance, but just like that, they can say, hey, we're going to flip the fight again. Those two rounds were too quick. You know, these guys are starting to build momentum. So with the drop shot being placed on top of the platform, well, we call it, it's a deck area labeled on the map. On top of that deck, it is, uh, you're going to typically see a 4v4 fight and then a 1v1 fight at the B Street for control over the B Hill and Torque Ball. Now, Team VR, send us in, they're choosing to send, send the guys through mid map. Pretty much five guys over there to get control over the drop shot at both home hills. But they gave up a free torque for the identities. We'll see if they pay for that one. A much better start here for Team PR. Three, four players down. That's for Team Ryan. Torque oh. map. Did he hit it? Nope. Another attempt. Oh. Tries to contest. Rushy oh. said, what you doing? Gonna happen. Oh, there's a drop shot. Team kills. Doesn't matter. Choche not gonna touch the hill in time. 2-1. Team PR bouncing back, and I like it. You know, a couple of round losses. They dictate the map. They obviously have a couple of weapon placements. They change up the tempo of the round. Still looking for explosive, though, to find that first kill. So what happened in that round was that both teams off the rip decided to send four to the deck area of the map. But Team PR, they're, instead of taking a 1v1 fight at the B Hill and fighting for the torque boat, they cut the guy through control room, took their man advantage very quickly, secured the drop shot, secured map control, and it came down to a 1v1 Rushies versus Identives, and Rushies got it for the trip cap domination. That's a 50 50 fight at the end there. Rushies loses it, and you reset, you got the drop shot, you're yep. good, but he says, hey, I'm going to try to end this round now. You need players like that to be able to uh, know when to make those moves. Four though now underway. Both teams grab their home hill. The fight over the mid neutral. Woo! Games. Speedy. Final line some shots from range. So far, somewhat unsuccessfully. Yeah, he connected with the first two, but missed the other ones after that. But he got a shot on this player, but mental with the back eight. <laughs> Gonna take the legs from Speedy. Uh, a shot of mental isn't enough. You need to kill the guy. He has another chance at a fight. He'll take it. Of course, Ryan has himself drop shot in his hands under his possession. More players from Team PR falling like dominoes. Dominant round. And a good bounce back here from Team Ryan. Be contested for how long? Is it even going to be long enough? Speedy rushing over towards there. The drop shot flying over the tall cap as well. Identics with the double. This round is over. Yeah, it's definitely over. Team PR couldn't get to their home hill because the drop shot was defending it and still firing drops across the map as well. Team Ryan, 3-1 lead. And this is also a Team PR map pick. Now, you know, these... Is, is Explosive awake? Should we, you want to call him? See if he's okay. Uh, man, I don't got his number, but, you know, I think we can put out an SOS there to get Praise go yell at his ear or something. Maybe him, maybe Summons. Pretty sure they out there watching well. the games too as well. This is a this is rough start. <laughs> hey, I will say that, uh, you know, you got the top two players on the top two teams in these matches. You got Mental and Explosives. You got Rushies and Franchise going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, you know, and we, we've seen these combos go at it. You know, we saw them go at it in Mexico City, so it's always good to see uh, them going at it again in an all-star game. But I know Mental wants to beat Explosives. You know, Mental got the season one MVP last year. Yep. And we're wondering who's going to get it this year. You know, it, you know, a lot of people say it's going in the hands of explosives, but, you know, he he, he kind of felt like he should have won it in season one. I mean, you could make a big argument. I know it's the conversation, right? The end of season one was there's just there's such a good argument for both players. Mm -hmm. uh, but here in the All-Star game, advantage mental, that's for sure. Explosive really improved his little start with his franchise as well. He's really putting on the moves as he makes his way towards being a cap come through. A Vexi from downtown assists the capture as he finds the kill with a drop shot onto shot. It's not enough to end it. Or is it a Vexies with the double? A TPR. I, I, you said they were the favorites? They, they look like the favorites. underdogs. They're out played out class right now. Team Ryan turning up in finals. It's because you're casting them, man. Probably. You're the right. caster curse. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I don't want to say it, guy, but explosive. Aaron still. tonight after fight night, cast or curse. Oh, I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. oh. Wasn't well, trying to, how but much, you know, how I much they paying? Wait, how much they paying? Yeah, how much I'm paying them? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> real question. Explosive still on the struggle bus. Yeah, 0 and 8. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen explosives 0 and 8. You joined the 8. Five rounds in. 
No wonder why it's 4 1. Is this Vite plugged in? I mean, it's, it's important. I think Team PR missing AI. Oh, show, show me explosive. I don't care about anybody here. Thank you. All right. Yeah, explosive losing gas in, in the All Star match. Is he going to lose gas at the last event, too? Imagine. No. Uh -huh. So uh, he's 0 9. So. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, hey. surely, wait, hold on. Hold on. Surely he doesn't get double digit kills. Yo, yo, this last kills. fight night has been officially a crazy one. We, we've seen two players play in two different series. We've seen explosives go 0 and 9. <laughs> wait, there's no way he does 0 and 9. Is he even going to see another point? I don't know. I'm going to start talking about him just in case. What did you draft? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm beaten, never lost, until Team Ryan got their hands on him in finals. 5-1. Mm -mm. You Come love a good underdog. Cho Che, seven kills. I, where, where's my phone? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Explosive myself. Hold up. Yeah. I'm going to make sure he awake. Be like, what you doing? Yo, Explosive, you good? <laughs> All right, let's, no, let's, let's kick it off with him. Because no way he goes 0-10, right? I, I've never. Th this is why this is so crazy. Yeah. Ever in my not life. A, not a down, bro. Not even a never, single down. Never. Have I seen Also getting voted for the best support player, too. Which he is. Just maybe not now. There's a down. That's not a down. Oh, that is a down. He did get credit for that. We'll take it at we'll, this point. We'll, yeah, we'll take it. And you'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Surely not double digit deaths before a kill. Surely not. Well, I, 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 I'm just, I, I'm so enthralled by this right mm. now. This is the storyline we want. Come oh, on. is he going to get his second down? Oh, Cho Chase slithers away. That's infuriating. If I'm a teammate, I'm feeding him a kill. I'm saying, come on, bro. Come, get, come, come pick up one of these. Uh, Good help, grab though. a freebie. Grab a freebie. Good patience with that Lancer. Getting the damage out as well. Oh, he's going to get a sixth cap. The trip cap comes through. Team PR still in it. Essentially still fighting a, a 4v5, which is a, a little rough. We're going we to stay on board with explosives, okay? Because he got, I have he to got see. his down. Yeah. I, I have to see it. I, I don't care. I don't care what he does. I don't care if he's AFK. Maybe it takes us to watch him for him to really go off and Team PR to start winning a few rounds consecutively. All right. Drop shot on the deck. Once again, you know, the first half that drop shot was located in that area, and those Team Ryan uh, get a majority of those rounds five to one. Let's see what's going to happen now. We're going into a 14 second respawn round as well. We saw Team PR kind of send the fake. Instead of taking a 1v1 at B Street, they cut somebody through control room. At first glance, it's looking like another 4v4 fight straight up. First blood for Rushies. Can't stare as well. We'll find one. And, well, Team PR have woken up. Now can Explosive wake up? This is a fight you expect to oh, see. Get him, get him and kill him. I need some. There it is. There we go. Look at it. Was, woof. He, right. he, he's now, starting to wake up a little now, bit. Now this map's over. Team PR's about to white rush. Now Explosive has his first kill. It's going to get scary. It only takes one. Yep. Let's get that. You know, to get a taste of taste of blood. Oh, a little taste character. of victory. Speedy with the drop shot. Thanks for this teammate. And it forces Explosive to retreat back over towards his you know, team. You know what happens when after gaming players taste victory? They start getting greedy. <laughs> they start winning everything. <laughs> yeah. All gunfights, all tourneys. And they start taking crazy fights mm -hmm. just because. And they just start winning. And then they admit they're taking crazy fights. They take stupid fights. You know, like, oh, okay. Oh, well, that works. Then. Oh. There's a couple of trades, identives with the double. Sneaky, sneaky flank by him. And he gets a drop shot for it as well. There's still one shot left in there. There is as well. Can okay, he put his cam forward? Good and drop that. shot. Oh, one more player, but he didn't get the mark. Oh, he drops down in the hill. Not killed just yet. Did he, he do it? Did he do enough? Did we have more drops from my dentist? He's nope. not even in the mix no more. Nope, he only had one, but it's good use at the start of the fight. Now the hill decap Team PR. They've survived. For now. Mental, he finds another one, but he's getting chased down. Team PR on their back foot. They managed to find another kill. Two members down on the flipping of Team Ryan. We'll see if Team PR can get the map control. <gasps> There you go. I told you he's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up real yeah, quick. Yeah, he heard us talking about him. Yeah. I'm sorry, explosive. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. It's the All-Star game. At least he traded his life there. Score, 90 to 55 in favor of Team PR. And as it stands, Team Ryan yet to control a hill. Finally, looking at over towards the D side of the map. Shots going down. The crossfire is enough to keep him off the hill. As things start to slow down, Team Ryan, I got an opt to try to go for a home hill setup, pushing out the B Street. Gonna have three players in this area, trying to get some deep, deep smokes, four players in this area.
trying to be a distraction, at least get one in the hill. Oh, but that drop shot can be a nuisance. They're looking to go through the spawn to take map control. And I like the play. I did it. Fine. It's one. Can he cut back with Mentu and work together to get Rushies? Rushies being a nuisance. Can Chaos make the difference? Metal has to be quick. Chaos is taking shots too as well. He won't even make it away. And that was a pro move. If you're having a difficult time getting a neutral hill on top of the deck, push the home hills and push your opponent out of their spawn to get the to get the map control. One will be traded out though. You got to be careful in the spawn though. You can't spend too much time back there though. Yep. No place to be. That's for sure. That drop shot did not connect. 77, 104. Team PR can put this round to bed. And finally, one more big defensive stand. They did well to find themselves time. You can now maybe even make an overextended play if you want. Head over towards Team Ryan's home hill. D, only franchise over there, but for Team Ryan, you've done the job. Oh, they're in a good spot. Eight. If Vexi, he didn't have his shotty out. Mental's going for a decap and going to try to play his life, but took too much damage before he was able to do so. Round over, Team PR, another round. Strung together. It's two on the bounce. If a Vexi was able, uh, didn't push that fight with his Lancer out, he gets a chunk there. Mental saves him, and that round's a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Not the case, though. Five, Not the case three. at all. And in the second half, all rounds heading towards Team PR. So for Team Ryan, their second weapon placement. So I think the trend is that we spectate explosives off the start, and Team PR wins the round. All right, let's test the theory. Let's test it off one more give time. Give me mental. No, 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 give me mental. You want to flip it up? OK. Yeah. Let's flip it up. Let's make it interesting. Put Team Ryan at match point, and then we'll go to explosive for the rest of the game. All right. Really test it out. Really test out the theory. I'm with that. Let's go that direction. Why not? Here we go. Going to be kicking it off with Mental in this round. Going to be the front spine. And you see how aggressive he gets pushing his opponent's fans. But Rushies connects with that shot. Power weapon in favor of Team Ryan. So Mental's rush was not in vain. Avexis needs to make the most out of these next two drop shots. Franchise needs a little bit of help. Avexis chooses to pull out the pistol, doesn't want to waste these drops just yet. Oh, he took a shot from the distance, though. Yeah, I think it was explosive. Just let him know he's there. Friend's still pinned, but catches Chaos, who is too interested in uh -oh. trying to support his teammate. Now it's just a simple 1v1, which Avexis will lose. Explosive with the advantage from 0 and 9, to finding himself 9 kills in just two rounds. TPR again with control of the map. The second half has suited them significantly more. Tripcat potentially could come through here. Mental delays it. And teammates coming off spawn is there to assist. So they'll survive for now in the round. The question is how long can they last? Because Team PR, they found that momentum. Explosive heated up, guys, just like what we're talking about. And since then, they haven't looked back. Mm -hmm. hey, you know, it looked good for Team Ryan at the start of this one. But it looks like these boys got hit with a caster's curse. <laughs> <laughs> sure does. It sure does. Team PR slowly moving forward. Be Chipping away at that lead that Team Ryan had to start this one off. Mental's but put himself in a great position here to maybe even flank the flank because France found two. That's deflected a lot of pressure, and it now gives Team Ryan license to push over towards the E hill. Mental with a 1v1, but if you really want to do, you can just draw them over towards the hill. Instead, wants to assist his teammate. That's more important. Shot's good as dead. He drops trip cap, starting to come through. There'll be a couple of players racing over towards Melee. Team Ryan's there to meet them, and that's the first, and that's the trip cap. And the theory is true thus far. So far, the cast of curse is working out. Whoever we spectate to start the round wins it. All right, back to explosive. All right, back to explosive. Let's, let's see if we can force a round 13. <laughs> <laughs> if this happens. This if if, if it happens, then we really need to just pull a fight night footage and just say, hey, we're, we're, it, we're it's yeah, a big thing. It is. It, it is. is. And it at, is, that, at that point, you know, I'll, I'll drop the PayPal. I'll drop the PayPal and, and some DMs, you know. Mm -hmm. We'll see who's willing, <laughs> willing to get themselves a championship. Mm -hmm. Who pays the most. What? No, I'd never do that. What? No. If Look at the kill difference, by the way. <laughs> If Team PR That's forces the reverse sweep comeback, I'll pay for them all $10. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. All of Team PR gets Team. I just give PR 50. How about that? PR like, thank you very much. Yeah, I just give PR 50. <laughs> Players don't watch the rebroadcast. They never even know. They, they won't even know. Smart, smart man. Smart man. 
it's PR. As, well, it's PR and the squad here. Because at that point, you know, all, like if they make this comeback, man, map two gonna be because years is all about momentum. Whew. That's unfortunate. I didn't think that was gonna happen the way that it did. I didn't think the splash damage was gonna be able to come over to the other side of that cover because the drop shot definitely extended it outwards. Quick swap. A little bit of a, a nuisance of Team PR. I got a question for you guys in the chat. When it comes down to Gears of War etiquette, who should initiate the trade? The person with the power weapon or the person receiving it? Let me know what you guys think in the chat. Who should initiate? Always the person with. With, right? Yeah, I agree. It's the person that's with that should initiate the trade. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just rude. <laughs> it is. It's like, no, well, I don't want to give it to you. But I don't, I don't know, if, you know, if that's, you know, fully clarified. Ooh. Cho oh, Jay. you can't let Cho J do that to you. Mercy, you don't deserve to win this round. And team. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but Mental doesn't even clean it up. Five members Put down. Team Ryan goes up 1 0 in the All Star Game Finals. Choche just buried him himself. <sighs> that was naughty play right there. 7 3, map 1 on lift. Man. And that, uh, yeah, Team PR, not beaten anymore. Team Ryan just showing.